Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I thought I would pick up the camera and do a bit of vlogging today. I've got a couple of exciting deliveries to come for the house. I've also already had a couple of exciting deliveries, so I'll show you a bit of an update of what the house is looking like. And then what else have I got? I've also got an H&M order arriving, so we'll do a little try on H&M haul at some point. Um, so yeah. I thought I'd pick up the camera today. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog over a couple of days or if it's just gonna to be today, I'm not sure. Later on in the week or like in a few days time, I, on Sunday, I'm gonna to go to, I think I'm gonna to go to like car boot sale and stuff. So that'll probably be my next vlog. But yeah, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. How are we all? Are we all coping in this heat? It actually has felt a little bit cooler this week. So for me and for Barney, because we all know what dogs are like in this heat, especially golden retrievers. We have finally felt a bit of relief, a bit of cool, calm, collected. Thought I'd just show you my dress quickly, dress of the day. It's also from H&M, but I got this last year. I don't think, because someone's asked me for a link before for this, I don't think it's still online. I don't know if they've brought them back this year, but really nice and yeah, just really easy to be able to strap down if I sit outside for like two minutes and catch a bit of sun. So let me head downstairs. I haven't even had breakfast yet this morning. I am so hungry. Just took Barney for a walk this morning and Tom is at Glastonbury. So by the time you're watching this, Glastonbury will be over. <gasps> it's me. What are you barking at me for, silly? Did you think someone was here? It's just me. It's just me, you little guard dog. Yeah, Tom's actually at Glastonbury, so all exciting stuff for him. Not for me, I'm glad I'm not there. Um, but anyway, let me show you some house, housey deliveries that we've taken already. Oh, actually first, rude. Let's just make sure we're all comfy, relaxed, cozy together. Make sure you've got a nice cozy drink. I'm gonna make myself a coffee in a second. Because like I said, I haven't eaten. I haven't even had my coffee yet today. So, um, yeah, make sure you're all set and cosy. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this vlog. And, yeah, let me show you some house updates. <laughs> Very exciting setup. I'm actually really excited because of these deliveries arriving whilst Tom's been away or will be away at Glastonbury. It's nice to have him come back in a few days time and there'll be loads of like new furniture bits. It's going to look a little more put together, a bit more styled up. I'm going to get some bits from down in the storage room, bring them up, like books, stuff to like style these shelves, the console. So yeah, anyway, <laughs> let me just spin you around. So you may have spotted a couple of new items to this space. Firstly, I've brought up the olive tree, which I think you have already seen in a vlog. I brought that up from the cinema room. So that is there. And then the mirror next to it is from Next. They very kindly sent this over and I was gonna put it here. And I did originally put it there, but it was quite short for the space. And I just think it suits that area a bit better. Once we've got the dining table in here today as well, I just feel like this space here is gonna be a little bit snug and I thought maybe not have a mirror there. Anyway, mirror's over there and I really like how that looks. It kind of helps bring out the outdoors in, if that makes sense. You know how like with the tree, the greenery, and then these arch mirrors, quite often you see them in gardens. So anyway, I really like that little setup. And then these gorgeous bar stools arrived yesterday as well. They are from Oka. There's a gorgeous shop in Nutsford if you're local to it to have a look at some of their furniture. They have some beautiful pieces. We've got an outdoor table that is coming for the garden once we've eventually started and finished the garden project. Uh, but yeah, these, Oka bar stools, they are called the Taino, T-A-I-N-O bar stools. They're the cheapest bar stools they have on their website. And I just think, well, of all of them, they're actually my favorite ones they do. So I'm so glad that they were the most affordable. They are still on the expensive side, I will admit that. But I just feel like this whole space we live in and is kind of like the heart, the hub of the home. Like whenever we've had people over recently, everyone kind of congregates around the island and I just wanted some really nice bar stools. So anyway, we splurged a little on these and I'm so glad that we did because just the added texture and rustic feel to them, I just think they are beautiful. 
Um, I also, from Next, when they delivered the mirror, very kindly, they also gave me some of their pure white um, sets. So I've got the Reed diffuser here, it smells lovely. Over here, we've got the diffuser, this little thing here, although I've not actually set it up yet. I don't know if it will work well there or not with the diffuser kind of like going into the shelf i don't know i might have, i might actually move that but for now i've left it there and then over here we have the little candle which i really like because it comes with a ceramic lid which you can use as a bit of a tray to stand it on and then also yeah you can repurpose that so love that and then finally from next we also got this gorgeous jute rug so it sits just under the sofa which is what i wanted and it kind of just helps section off this space as the living space within this kitchen extension. It's kind of divided this space into three sections. So I very much wanted this area to be like the cozy living space, this area to be the kitchen, and then this side of the beam is more like long dining table hosting, that kind of section, which is gonna be in the middle. So it kind of ties the three sections together. Anyway, that's how that's looking. I did see a couple of rugs on Zara Home that I was gonna go for. May potentially look at them for the front rooms, but for now, um, this rug, gorgeous. Absolutely love. Again, ad adding texture and rustic kind of, yeah, well, different textures. I just feel like it brings the space together quite well. Not much has happened in terms of the rest of the house. We have got um, on Monday in a few days time the plumber back to start fitting this downstairs low. So we've got the sink to go in, the toilet to go in. So once they're in, I'll show you that. Um, again, that'll probably be in either the next vlog or next couple of vlogs. And then again, in uh, down here, just due to per personal circumstances, the painter has not been able to come back and finish off. Not sure when he will be coming back actually, but we're not majorly in a rush to finish these rooms anyway. We've already got obviously flooring down. This is just a protector. Coving is in. Walls have had their first coat and been sanded down, which you can see all these marks. So they just need painting essentially. And the doors need adding on to this bookcase. I've also decided that I think this piano, I was gonna put it where Barney's bed is in the new kitchen extension, but I'm, I like his bed where it is. So I'm actually thinking this piano against that wall with a piece of artwork above it, because we've got the picture light up there as well. Let me know what you think to that. And then in that room, we've got the joiner back soon to fit the final door on the bathroom, the internal door that still needs to go on the downstairs loop. And he's also gonna build a boxed in shelf there where the toilet waste is gonna go out. As for now, this is the update. The gorgeous black room is definitely growing on me. When I first painted it, I was like, is it a bit too much? But I feel like once we've got the soft touches in, this linen sofa, cozy rugs and throws and log baskets, log fire on, artwork on that wall, I think it's gonna be really, really nice. I actually think it might end up being one of my favorite rooms. For now, I mean, we've just been living in this space, loving this space. And now we've got bar stools, we've got more seating for people, which is a bonus. We are having, obviously I've mentioned Still and Bloom delivering today the, in fact, they should be here any second, delivering a console for behind the, t the sofa, the dining table, and another console for by the front door, but I'm gonna keep that wrapped up just in its protection until that area is finished. Uh, but we are yet to get dining chairs. So once the table's in, I'm gonna measure up, see what is out there and start shopping for dining chairs. So any recommendations of what you think we should get, let me know. They do have, Oka have dining chairs matching this, but I just feel like I wanted something different. And also I wanted something maybe with like a linen kind of cover and also a bit comfier. Cause I feel like bar stools you'll find just perched and they, they are comfy with the arched back and everything, but they're not dining table comfy, you know, where you're gonna be sat potentially for hours if you've got people over, you're hosting with like lots of food, maybe games, whatever, you're gonna sat, be sat at the dining table for a bit more. So I just think it needs to be a bit comfier. So yes, any recommendations of dining chairs if you've got any that kind of fit that style. I also want them to be able to tuck in fully so nothing with arms. I want them to be able to slide the chairs to fully slide under just because of the space 
I think it might feel a bit cluttered or a bit like, oh, you've got to maneuver around the furniture to get out the doors if the chairs are stuck out like the bar stools are. I mean, they're fine. But for the dining chairs, I'm just bearing that in mind. But anyway, that's a little update. It's gonna make myself a coffee now. I'll show you guys when the new items are delivered. delivery has arrived so we've got the console here this console is to go by the front door and i have decided to just unbox it anyway just to check it make sure i'm happy i do love it and yeah it's quite a small little console like i say to go by the front door but for now i'm just gonna leave it here We were thinking about putting that somewhere, which is basically one of the speakers to maybe like hide it in something. And it could definitely go in there if I were to put that along there. But yeah, it's gorgeous, very rustic. It's basically made from reclaimed wood. And um, I can't remember the name of this one, but I'll leave a link to Still and Bloom down below where you can um, have a look at their website. It's Gorgeous family run business, small business, but yeah, they do such a beautiful piece. We've got a little wooden care guide. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to unbox the other two packages, which I feel like might take me, might take me a while, so I'll pop you on a time lapse. Unboxing that in this heat <laughs> i thought it'd cool down it's not cooled down i am sweltering what have i got on my nose oh no it's gone now and now i've got a red nose <laughs> i need to go put some makeup on that anyway i finally unboxed them i now have so much packaging so i think i'm gonna do a quick tip run and take it all to the tip otherwise it's just gonna you'll see how much there is that's just half of it the other half is in the front room so anyway for now i have actually just moved this console to here and popped the uh, speaker in there as it fits perfectly so i don't know whether to well i mean we'll we'll see i was going to say i don't know whether to even move it to the by the front door um because it does fit quite well there for like a place you can put your drinks and stuff although it then makes this space quite tight did you hear me step on the bubble wrap them um but yeah i don't know it does because it does fit perfectly in there now i'm tempted to possibly think about getting another one we are thinking about getting a coffee table done by them maybe in the front room where like in front of the bookcase or sofa or whatever through there so anyway for now it's there just keeping out of the way of the kind of painting and decorating that's left to finish through there then this console this is called the big rustic and this is my favorite piece i just think it's beautiful it's got no back to it so you can have it like in the middle of a room or wherever but i just think it helps kind of frame this area even more so the only thing is i think it might be a little bit too tall but it's one of these things that we've kind of committed now so I'm just going to style it up and see how we go and if like if it really really like in future we needed to shave down the bottom and get our joiner to do that then I guess we could but I don't want to do that because obviously that would defeat the purpose for the fact that we bought this but I don't know maybe I just need to style it up and see how we go first but anyway that's the big rustic console table I'm thinking cushions throws books vase on top maybe candle rediffuser and then this is the gorgeous dining table i'm so glad we went for this size it's one of the biggest well i mean they i think they do they do do like custom bespoke sizing but this size was 270 in length and i was thinking it's going to feel huge it's going to really close off the space we're not going to get access to the doors when they're open but now I've seen it in its place, I think there's still plenty of room. I still think I'm going to get chairs to tuck in. 
Um, I know you can get like a bench on one side to tuck in that they actually do, Still and Bloom do, but I am quite keen for just chairs. So as much as I'm sure some of you might recommend maybe getting a bench or a couple of benches, I don't want that because I don't want it to look too outdoor table, too picnic table like, if you know what I mean. So um, I am going to go with chairs and I think what I might end up doing is three or four on either side and then two on the end. Oh, I don't know actually, because I don't want the ends to stick out even further, because they won't tuck under with those bits underneath. I need to sneeze, hold on one second. <coughs> Bless me, gosh, this hay fever's still rife, guys. Anyway, it's looking gorgeous, it's stunning. If you like the kind of rustic, look at like these knots and grooves, like look at that big chunk taken out. Oh, I just think it's gorgeous. And then there's like another huge knot there. Really, really pretty. And that's what it looks like. If I stand a bit further back, I'm actually outside now, but you can see the kind of color to it. It's very natural. This is the, so they do three colors. I got all of the pieces of furniture in natural. They do a lime washed, I think, which is like white washed. Then they also do a, uh, what's it called? Light oak, I think, which is actually darker than this. So yeah, this is the natural. If you were interested in having a look on their website and stunning. I do want to point out the fact that it's irregular though. So just bear that in mind. It's not like perfectly polished, which is exactly what I wanted. I, for me, the more rustic, the better. Like all these like etches and knocks and grooves just shows that it's reclaimed. But that for me is exactly what I wanted. Imagine a big linen runner down the middle. I do have one, but I think it's a little short. It doesn't drape down the sides. I think it just kind of sits on top. So I might have to get like, try and find an extra long one but oh my god I'm in love excuse the fact that the TV is on but then this is the kind of angle from this side with the big rustic if you stand over here you can just about see the top of it it's actually probably quite handy to have a couple of coasters on there for drinks for if you sat on the sofa because there's definitely not enough space in this area I don't really want to add anything else to this area in terms of coffee tables or anything because I feel like it might be a bit too cluttered could get a little round one over there but I feel like I yeah I don't want to add too much and the intention with that like I said that one will move to the by the front door but for now this is what the kind of how it looks the console table behind the sofa from this angle quite subtle actually so yeah once it's styled up on this side I do think I don't think the uh, height will bother me at all. Oh, I just love it, guys. I'm actually obsessed. So, so beautiful. Look at me, like, petting it as if it's my dog. Look at him. You cute boy. Oh, my God, I've just blown my nose. Um, it's looking a little red. Pop on some. Lip. Oh, I was going to say lip balm. Yeah, it is balm. Two Faced Hangover Pillow Balm Lip Treatment. So my H&M parcel is delayed until tomorrow now. So either way, it's definitely going to be at least a two day vlog this one. And I thought I would just have a bit of a break from the house, seeing as though I don't need to wait in for that parcel anymore. And just come grab a bite to eat, grab some lunch, maybe a drink, probably just go to Starbucks, dog friendly. And also there's a few charity shops here. So maybe potentially have a little, just quick browse whilst I'm out, just an hour out the house. See if I can find any like faffy bits for styling purposes. I need to rummage our storage room as well down in the basement. But yeah, just wanted a bit of a break from the house. Just turn off the aircon so I need to get out of here and get the dog out as well because otherwise it gets too hot.
other than me that can make you feel the way you feel when I hold you. I think I said enough. You said you love for me something brand new. You said this is something you would never do. Here we are in a car. Let me see who you are, who you really are. Yeah. Don't need you here to say you're sorry. 'Cause if you're gonna leave me, then just do it. Don't take it slow. This one is licking his lips back there because he's just had a puffuccino. So I actually did get a few purchases on my little trip. So I've come to a place called Cheedle. It's not open the windows, that's some fresh air in. But I thought we could do a taste test of my drink. Very colourful. It's the new mango dragon fruit starbucks refresher now i love the cool lime one i like the star starbucks the strawberry one let's see what this one's like mm. oh <laughs> the noise that's coming from it oh mm. i'm just trying to think how i would rank them This one's very fruity. I think the Cool Lime Refresh is my favourite. It's probably on a par with the strawberry one. I feel like they're joint second. But yeah, would I get it again? Um, I do like it. I just think I prefer the Cool Lime Refresher. My hand's cold now. I'll show you the bits I bought. Or should I wait till I get home? I'll wait till I get home because then I can show you them in their place as well i did just get myself some lunch i went for a chicken breast smoked bacon and lettuce wrap chicken caesar wrap basically and then as a little treat i did pick up these these are great instead of getting like one piece of cake that they do because then you don't have to eat them all, all in one go you can just have a bit of a taster or have one like I'm gonna have one now and then I can have one for my dessert tonight after my dinner later on. So you get like a millionaire shortbread, a the middle one is like a white blondie, is it? Raspberry and white chocolate blondie, and then a cookies and cream brownie. Delish. I am still just pinching myself that I get to call this my kitchen. Honestly, it just blows me away every time I come down here it feels like I'm on holiday like it feels like an Airbnb or something that we've booked and just feeling grateful every single day feeling grateful and I had a fantastic time in the charity shops I feel like I underplayed it earlier best charity shop finds ever you might have seen from the vlogging clips, there was one store in particular that had loads of Zara home bits. There was a couple that had H&M bits. So there's some kind of deal that H&M home and Zara home are now doing with charity shops to be able to, something to do with taxes or whatever. They're basically donating a load of unwanted stuff to charity shops rather than, well, I don't know what else they would do with it. Maybe give it to like TK Maxx or something because I have seen Zara home and TK Maxx before. But anyway... It just means that if you drop lucky with a new Zara drop at one of the charity shops, then you just have to count your blessings because I got so many, like so many Zara home bits. And there's a girl there after me and a girl there before me. We each spent, I mean, I spent 65 pounds. The other girl, and I saw one other girl spend about 100. And these are charity shop finds as well. So anyway, let me go get the bits to show you. Oh my gosh. I did have a bit of a story time to tell you. I wasn't sure whether or not to mention it on here, but I think I will, because I feel like if anyone else has been in this position and wants to hear my story, then I, I don't know, I kind of want to tell you for also like a bit of peace of mind that I did the right thing. Anyway, firstly, this bag is Zara Home, and it was, oh God, that sounds like I just smashed something. Um, 6.99, 59.99 that retails for. I got it for 6 99 It's like a massive beach bag. So I grabbed that. I thought that's going to be handy to be able to carry everything in. 
as well as using as a beach bag or um, yeah, like picnic bag or something. And then this blanket as well, which matches, super thick, quite big as well. It is 145 by 200 and it's, I feel like I need to tell you the retail price just so that I know how much of a bargain I've actually got. <laughs> 69.99 but yeah this one was 19.99 for the massive picnic blanket slash throw so before i show you the other things let me just tell, tell you my little story time and please tell me that you would have done the same thing just give me a bit of peace of mind um so i went into one of the shops and if you all know charity shops they can be a little bit snug some of them and there were quite a few people in and as i walked past um by the way let me just for context i've been out with barney to do a bit of charity shopping but then came back it's been a couple of hours i've gone back out to didsbury charity shops also grabbed myself a coffee whilst i was there so yeah i went to didsbury charity shops this time so i was without the dog i left barney here and yeah so this guy just walks past me down this narrow like pathway and just brushes my bum. I feel a prolonged graze. Put me on edge, but I thought I'll let it slide because who knows, I've got a big bum, maybe it got in the way. Didn't feel like it, but if it was a mistake, I don't want to say anything and be out of place saying something, so left it. He then detours at the other side of the shop, comes back past me again, and did the same along the front of me, in that area. So that clearly was a step too far. I spoke up. I just basically said, excuse me. <laughs> I don't even know why I said it was all a bit of a blur. I just sort of said, because I can't do confrontation like this for me. is just like, just so uncomfortable. But I, I thought I'm not going to let him get away with it. There's been many a times in a club environment back in my clubbing days that you just I'd let that sort of thing slide I thought no I'm not gonna it's daylight we're in a charity shop you can't get away with doing that not that you can get away with doing it in a nightclub but anyway and I said excuse me that's twice you've done that now first time I let you off in case it was an accident second time it's too far I said you can't get away with doing that and then I heard what I'm assuming is his dad or his uncle or something say I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry like apologizing for him this guy's chatting at me like like doing that when I'm saying that to him. Not an apology, clearly not admitting it, but also not saying, what are you talking about? I don't know what, he was just going <laughs> And um, the other, there were, luckily there were other women in the shop and they also were going, like rolling their eyes at him for doing that. And anyway, him and his dad left. When I'm saying like him and his dad, he was about 19. This guy knows right from wrong no excuse even if they were young but do you know what i mean um yeah is i'd say he's about 18 19 and then yeah as they left the other women were saying you're okay luckily it wasn't me or outside of lampton so they were on my side and they were chatting to me afterwards but i just thought i'm gonna have to say something i mean could have even reported it do you know what i mean so and because i was vlogging as well i almost thought when he did it the first time, I thought, I'm gonna get my phone out here to vlog, but like just keep it on me and see if I can get it as a bit of evidence if he was to do it again. Sure enough, when he turned around, came back past me, kind of wish I'd got my camera out. Anyway, story time over. Let me know what you would have done in that situation. Okay, on a lighter note, let's get back into my amazing Zara home haul, I feel like at this point. So, they had these gorgeous charger plates. Had they have had full sets, I might have considered it. They only had three. So I thought I'm gonna pick up two because I feel like as a cake stand or like to display sandwiches, pop it on the table, I just thought it'd be quite nice. Even as a display tray with like a big candle on or something would be quite nice. But yeah, beautiful pattern. And these were 3 99 each. So yes, got the two of those. Oh, I just love them. I love Zara Home stuff anyway, so to be able to get these mega bargains, I'm so happy. Uh, okay, this is a rediffuser. Now, this range of home scents that they had, I had the morning coffee one before, and I knew and I remembered it was one of my strongest smelling rediffusers I've ever had. 
and I never got the fresh cut grass one but I always wanted it so 3 dollars it was and I think these retail for about I don't know 12 to 15 pounds but yeah this is the fresh grass scent I think they kind of based them off the Mason Margiela scents I'll just show you the bottles so you can see what it looks like it's just plain basically black reeds and on the front it's just like it says Zara home fresh cut grass so very simple in style but hopefully I mean it's the same bottle as the coffee one that I had and like I said it was so strong so hopefully that will smell really nice and then I've got this one of their Christmas rangers which I loved their gingerbread scent this is in clove orange and ginger so I'll maybe pop this away for Christmas but the price on this one is 3 dollars and I'll just show you the actual candle itself. Stunning, honestly, gorgeous. And if you remember from a couple of years, I know I didn't really decorate for Christmas last year because of the renovations, but from the year before, oh, so good. I had a few burgundy accents, so we'll bring that back out at Christmas. So guys, I'm just so excited to decorate for Christmas. Probably because we didn't do it last year, and probably because we'll have a finished downstairs renovation. Anyway, next item I got, this is one of the first items I saw actually. This beautiful antique brass uh, jug. It is, these are all Zara home bits. $7.99 this one was, and it retails for $29.99. And I just think it's gorgeous for styling, as a little vase. They had a few of these as well. Beautiful. And then, I've got quite a few of their kitchen things that I paid full price for on Zara. And I saw this little mini, what I could describe as like a little fruit colander, you know, just to pop in the sink for like raspberries and strawberries and things. And it's got the wooden handle, the stainless steel. It was $3.99, but full price $9.99. Not as much of a saving, but still nice nonetheless. Candle, love a candle. I do love a candle. Uh, this is the Zara Home Aromatic Candle in Better Rave. So I gave this one a little sniff in store. $5.99 and it retails for $25.99 ordinarily. And this, oh it smells good this one. This one's in a bit more of like a rustic tin, stainless steel tin this one. Yeah. It smells like the scent of a best, yeah. I've just caught a glimpse of what it says and it's very true. The scent of a beet just harvest, the greenery of their leaves, the bittersweet taste of their root. We've got a uh, drinking dog if you can hear slurping water. The bittersweet taste of their root, the earthiness of patchouli that makes is the most... Hang on. The earthiness of patchouli that makes is the most daring? Why does that not make sense to me? Uh, but yeah, that kind of like root harvest, kind of like dirt smelling, which sounds horrendous, but I was not describing it very well. Like very earthy, herby, like that smells like outside. <sighs> Love it. Okay, next up I got some acacia wood. We all know Zara Home do acacia wood items really well, or mango wood. So $25.99 this one retails for, I got it for $8.99 and it's a little, uh, is it like a spice rack this one? Let's take off the cardboard packaging and see what it looks like. I want, I want to try and find this online and see how they advertised it, whether it be like a little spice rack, which I'm assuming they will say that that's what it is or was. What is? Yeah, it comes with these little bottles, which I guess you could label up, have as spice pots, whatever really. Like a little kind of apothecary set. Let me know what you would store in there, these little bottles. But yeah, you can um, hang it as well. I don't know where I'm going to put this, maybe somewhere in the pantry, but I just really liked it. 8 99 Okay, one other Zara home purchase. And this time it is a perfume. They had loads. This is the one that I know is like the Baccarat Rouge uh, dupe basically. And it does smell really similar to it. So Red Temptation, I decided to go for that one just because I felt like I know the scent. 9 99 honestly guys, they had so many candles, uh, 
perfumes. They had like the smaller perfumes at sort of 6 99 ish Let me just open this up. And you know, these things like Red Temptation is this size, the 80 mil one, is online on Zara now, not even in the sale. I know they've got the sale on at the minute, but it's 22 99 So to get it for 9 99 more than half price. Oh, well, I've ruined the box. So it's not gonna be a gift for someone. I already know what the bottle looks like for this because I've had a mini before. Yeah, it's just very simple. Go, oh, I can smell it already. Smell, it does smell very similar. I feel like even if, especially with even Zara full price perfumes, not just this charity shop find, but Zara perfumes are that affordable, but smell that good and smell just like the high-end designer brands that you could even use them as a bit of like a room spray as well or just have it set out. Because 9 99 I would happily pay for an 80 ml room spray. So yeah, love that. Okay, and then I went to Cancer Research UK and I saw this vase. Something a bit, I'm trying to find vases and stuff in different shapes, different colors. So I don't really have a tall, thin one like this and it's in a gorgeous sage green. It's got a slight crackled effect on it. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, I just wanted a taller one, a thinner one, and I thought this was perfect. So that was five pounds. And then the other item that I got from there was this book. This was three pounds. It's called The Complete book of herbs i'm going to take off the cover practical guide to growing and using herbs which is definitely something we want to incorporate within our garden that area that i've shown you before that we've hacked back in the bottom left corner it's quite deep so we're going to level that out raise it slightly and have herb growing area there so yeah this is what the book actually looks like and how we will style it up and keep it and it's just like a gold Boiled lettering there. The Complete Book of Herbs by Leslie Remnis. And I'll have a flip through this. I love like old books. Um, but yeah. Cute. Three pounds. And then, what else did I get? Okay, this was lovely. So I'm guessing, well, I got this with the intention of popping this behind me here. I really envisage and all of my styling Pinterest inspo images that I've saved for kitchen shelf styling, they all seem to have some kind of vintage painting, drawing, the fact that it's got the gold frame, like the brass to go with the brass hardware, the green border, the past part two is in like a beautiful green that kind of matches the island. And it's a black and white drawing, which I really wanted like a line drawing. So I saw this, it's the village that I went to first, Cheadle. And I just thought that would look lovely set up there. So I'm thinking just in the middle really, behind a salt and pepper mill, something like that. What do we think? Do we like it? Let me show you a better shot. I love the green on it, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna take off the, the 3 dollars label obviously, but that's what it looks like. Cheadle Cheshire gorgeous so this is what i mean by buying my little like faffy knickknack type bits that i feel like i'm gonna keep buying and switching up this kind of styling shelf area because obviously i've got i feel like a full shelf now i'm quite happy with the way that it looks but i also have all of like these shelves to style up the bookcase that will be in the black room to style up we've now got the console to style up so there's plenty of bits that i can be buying all the kind of knickknacky faffy bits that i love honestly buying all of these little bits is one of my like greatest pleasures in life so yeah and the fact that i can buy all of this and support charities amazing Super, super happy with these purchases. I've got one more bag. This is from Bernardo's. And this is where I saw some H&M bits in the Cheadle store. They've, I think they've got two stores actually there. They've got like a vintage one, but both shops had them in, um, like the H&M bits. They also have the H&M labels on as well. She wrapped it up in newspaper on the dresser. Help keep it protected. Feels like wrapping, I'm wrapping a Christmas present, even though I know what it is. 
she was saying as well, sorry, we don't have any bubble wrap. And I thought, the amount of bubble wrap that I have just taken to the tip. And she said, no, don't tell me that. And I just didn't think. So next time, if ever you guys have any unwanted bubble wrap or newspaper, she said, charity shop drop because they are super appreciative of it for when packing up their orders for customers. So anyway, H&M, this gorgeous brass photo frame that can stand, I was gonna say, well, you can hang it, but I actually think it's just for standing. So it's got the, obviously the H&M home label on and it's priced at $17.99, but the charity shop price was eight pounds and these are all like obviously as you can tell brand new feeling like i'm gonna keep going back regularly to see if there's any more more bits that i can buy as and when they get donations I'm not sure how often they they will donate to charity shops i think it's just a case of some days you get lucky and some days you don't today i'm not lucky so i've seen this vase on h&m several times i've been into h&m home at traffic center and nearly bought this and I don't know if it's still full price actually, we'll have to have a look online, but it's just this gorgeous glazed ceramic wide rimmed pot that would be beautiful with like maybe some hydrangeas in it. We've got the middle of the dining table that I'm gonna need a vase for. We've got, oh my God, guys. This just excites me too much. I'm not gonna lie, too much. Um, but anyway, 17.99 again. Priced at eight pounds for that one. So I was more than happy to pay that for a brand new H&M bars that I've already seen and loved. I'm gonna see if it's still full price. I just caught a glimpse then when I turned back around with my new vintage print and I really like it. I couldn't have asked for a better print. I'm not gonna lie, that was exactly what I had in mind. Like to a T. I did think about getting a line drawing done of like our house or something, but then it doesn't have that kind of vintage feel to it. That does. I'm so happy, so happy with my purchases today. There it is. Oh no, can't be that because that one says $39.99. Yeah, this one's $17.99. Out of stock. Right, I feel like I'm gonna leave it here today and then pick you guys back up tomorrow for when my H&M clothes order arrives. I think I've got one homeware purchase, I think. For now, I feel like after today's incident in the shop with Mr. Perv, it's time to just maybe have a break in the sunshine, enjoy a bit of fresh air, read a book, watch Love Island, maybe have a cheeky takeaway for myself, seeing as though Tom's away and yeah. I'll pick you guys back up again tomorrow. Yeah, you might not be at your best, but it's fine. I don't mind telling truths when you need to hear them. And be kind when that's what you prefer. How about when you can't see a way out, help you fight. And let you know that. morning guys it is it's another hot one today i feel like 
Hello, gorgeous boy. You're a bit wet, aren't you, from this morning's walk? Are you going to come lie down here? Um, we just went on a really nice long walk this morning and went for a little solo. Well, I say solo, me and Barney. Breakfast date out the joiners in this morning so I thought I'd just get out get on a nice long walk with Barney got home got freshened up and showered and everything and thought it was about time to sit down and share with you the H&M bit so I haven't actually like opened anything tried anything on yet but I'll do some trial clips so you can see what they look like and probably like a reel or something on Instagram um but yeah the only home item I got I'll leave all of these linked below as well by the way if you want to shop any of them the only home item I got that's literally wrapped up in tissue, which is random, like not tissue paper, tissue, um, is this. And I thought this would have come in handy when, I think it was in my last vlog, one of my last vlogs, where I hosted family and I baked a cake. I thought this, something like this would have been ideal. So a little cake cutter, cake slicer whatever you want to call it and it fits in theme with the rest of my kind of kitchenware with this like acacia wood handle so yeah I bought that <clears throat> I just need to catch my breath because like, I feel like really lack of energy today I don't know why because I feel feel like my morning walk felt good felt energetic I don't drink caffeine anymore although I did have a caffeinated coffee yesterday but that was yesterday so that should be well out of my system by now I don't know I just I did have an antihistamine yesterday as well and I've not had one of those in a few days I just feel really like you know when your eyes feel heavy I think it's the hay fever and the heat to be honest with you but sometimes I just go up and down I'm like I just feel low energy yeah I felt fine on my walk this morning does anyone else get like that just up and down with with their energy levels in the summer with the heat that's what I'm blaming anyway um okay like the thought of doing trials now is just like a no it can wait till tomorrow I think we forecast rain I mean for you guys it's not going to make a difference you'll see them in this video anyway but I think we forecast rain and drizzle and highs of 20 tomorrow which just makes me so happy <laughs> so I got this number like a little chain mail slinky number that I thought would be beautiful on holiday in the summer and the summer evening as an occasion wear it's like a little slip dress in fact I thought the I thought this came with a slip but it obviously doesn't so I'll need to find some kind of slip dress even over a bikini or a swimsuit that would look beautiful <gasps> on like a beach I don't know if you can see so I'm gonna try and get it in the sun but it's super glitzy and shimmery, that one. So I got that in a size large to extra large. I'll show you some jeans. Oh, the thought of putting jeans on right now. Ooh. These are called the Mom Jeans Regular Waist in a UK 12. They've got a little bit of ripping going on here, which I thought added a more casual kind of look. And then what have we got here? Is this a dress? Yes, this is like a shirt dress in a medium this is from the divided range so usually a little bit cheaper i'll put links like i said below so you can see the updated price a lot of these things were like sale finds as well so like might have further discount on them you all know me i'm a bargain shopper so most of these are mega bargs it's got a tie waist as well i thought a shirt dress can look really nice and simple and you can style it up really easily with different accessories did you hear the slap on my thigh then proper thigh stuff I'm wearing like a little dress um but yeah I thought a shirt dress it looks beautiful with like a tan belt you could switch out the belt that comes with it with a tan belt tan bag some nice nude sandal heels you could wear it more casually I could put my Chloe sandals with it with a nice like basket bag so yeah shirt dress is a bit of a staple I'm definitely not keeping all of these by the way I need a proper try on session and a rummage through to decide what it is that I want to keep I got this shirt dress as well I'm loving blue striped shirts and shirt dresses so I got this one it's got like a puff sleeve kind of detail a bit of a tie detail as well I guess you could wear it the other way around so it's not got any ties on but I think that is meant to be the front I probably wear the top one open maybe but yeah again very loose comfy floaty good for this kind of weather it's like a linen I definitely remember this one being in the sale because I think they had other colors not in the sale and I was glad that the chocolate brown one was in the sale because it's my favorite color but it's like a satiny 
cute kitsch kind of dress like very girly it's very mini i feel like this is only for me anyway it would only be a holiday dress in an evening um and or like i suppose it could be a day dress with summer sandals but again for holiday again part of the divided range this one is in a uk 10 and yeah love a chocolate brown i feel like especially in summer i was gonna say especially in summer it's a bit less harsh than black i'm in a black dress in summer oh well, these are gorgeous cute little pair of high-waisted tailored shorts i feel like if these fit me they're slightly elasticated as well so i feel like they're going to be really comfy but yeah if these fit me i feel like these are going to be a staple because they look so smart in a uk 10 i feel like they're going to fit you'll see if they manage to get on in a try on clip but um yeah i feel like they're going to be a good staple wondering if they have other colors okay then i got these shorts for more casual oh i know i'm gonna live in these i've been after instead of a the option of a dress especially for like walking the dog yeah i'll walk the dog in a dress but i just feel sometimes shorts and a little t-shirt are better a little pair of nice super soft shorts they're kind of like a linen blend these but they're a lot softer in a medium okay they look kind of yeah linen blend they look kind of small for a medium oh mind you they are stretchy i bought this before and it was in the clearance this time so i decided to get it i sent it back last time and i really regretted sending it back when i saw that they'd reduced it i thought i'm going to take that as a sign and uh it's just this please a skirt so i'll show you again but it's very simple cream long i think the main reason why i thought i was going to send it back last time was because i thought of it is more like an occasion wear type thing so cost per wear i wasn't sure but at the reduced price i thought i can't i can't say no to that then i just got this plain t-shirt in a medium i always like to stock up on basics from h&m I feel like I've got quite a few from them. This one feels a little more fitted than my other ones. Kind of like an off-white as well, a bit of a creamy colour. I think I got those shorts in white as well. Are they the same? I feel like they are. Yeah, they're the same, but in white. I actually think I prefer the other colour. White look a bit too, like, whoa. Okay, I think this one's part of a co-ord. So it's this kind of mauve-coloured, mushroom-coloured, linen blend shirt. Oh, someone's knocking at the door. One sec. I'm just like someone was knocking at the door. It wasn't. It's just the joiner hammering. <laughs> I was like, hello. Oh, it's just you. Um, anyway, so yeah, I've got this shirt. It's because I've said hello. Let's come on over. Come on over. Come on over, Barney. Is that nice? Oh, now my phone's ringing. One second. Yes, these are the matching bottoms. So they're like a long trouser. They're quite um, casual. I feel like both of these are a very casual kind of fit, style. This is like a t-shirt dress. So much nicer material than I thought it was gonna be. Are you bringing me a doggy? Is that your Ikea doggy? His favorite. I'm tired. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> anyway t-shirt dress but it's like in a toweling material it's really nice again like i can imagine this is a nice beach dress but very casual with the toweling kind of material so that is in a medium it's the same color though as those from before you'll have to let me know your honest opinion on them and what whether or not you think that color suits suits me i mean i've got no tan on at the minute so just bear that in mind i'm barely wearing any tan at the minute i feel like as and when we're getting breaks of sun and i'm sitting in the garden i'm just catching a little bit here but my legs just don't seem to tan and like obviously my waist and everything because i'm always got clothes on is so pale anyway um i've got this dress this is 20 percent recycled cotton linen blend in a medium beautiful color this one and it's got like this tie waist. I remember seeing a satin skirt and nearly getting in it, getting it in this beautiful champagne colour. But you know how H&M have like and other stories and weekday and everything. I think it was from and other stories and it was quite expensive. And I just thought, I don't know about that. Um, but then, yeah, this dress is that same kind of beautiful champagne, silky satiny fabric. And it's got this beautiful strap detail. Again, like for occasion wear, Maybe not wedding dress outfit, but beautiful, right? Look at the glitz on that. Just a little pop of glamour and glitz for like an evening dress. 
it's got like a lining but to here and it's in a uk 10 that one so in a medium this is yet again another shirt dress i think it's the same as the white one i, th I feel like it is um, the same as the white one that I showed you earlier with the tie that comes with it. But again, like I was saying with the white one, this colour with like a tan belt would be so beautiful as well. So anyway, in a medium, yet again, linen blend. All very similar kind of stuff in this haul, but hold on, I hate fever. This one is a shorter dress. Love that pattern. So, so pretty. I've got a couple of dresses like this, longer though, that I got from Team U. Um, and yeah, I feel like this length is really pretty. It's got like a backless detail as well. So you can go braless with this one. In a small, it just ties at the top at the back of your neck. This feels beautiful. 65% recycled polyester in a medium. It's like a longer shirt dress, shorter sleeves. Okay, this one feels really luxe. It feels like a really high end in comparison to any of the others I felt. Gorgeous, like kind of muted. Uh, I was gonna say stone, like a beige, khaki beige kind of colour. I feel like that one's gonna look really expensive on, <laughs> really expensive. Speaking of khaki, this is more like khaki and I love wearing khaki. I feel like it's one of my favourite colours to wear. So this again, another little shirt dress. This one feels completely different to the other ones. It's lensing eco vero viscose but yeah this is what this shirt dress feels like again feels lovely feels really nice that one a little staple basic i have one similar to this in a different material but i thought i'm going to pick up another one in this ribbed fabric i love the h&m ribbed vests anyway but this one's like a one shoulder so yeah i have one similar to this and i just think it's really easy to like pair with outfits and pair with like wide leg trousers like white trousers with this tan color would be lovely or black as well but i just feel like yeah with some wide leg trousers blazer over the shoulder it makes for a really nice evening outfit but then equally denim shorts comfy daytime love that or even like satin midi skirt like i was saying if i can get a champagne gold one i do have a black one but yeah that would look really pretty too okay then last but not least it's actually not a well, I was going to say it's not a fashion item. It kind of is a fashion item, but it's not clothing. It's a bag. A little canvas tote bag. I, my collection of these canvas tote bags is too big. Need to whistle it down. How many canvas tote bags does one person need? But anyway, I saw this one and thought I would show it to you. Anyway, it's a smaller one than any of the others that I own. So sometimes I'm like, oh, it's a bit too big. Whereas this one, still plenty big enough to fit like a laptop in, but it's not like overly big. And that sums up my little H&M haul within this video. I do feel like this video is probably getting pretty long already. So I feel like I might end it here actually. I've done my hair and makeup. It's going straight on top of my head after this video because I just, the I feel like people that have extensions will understand. I mean, I don't have extensions or like thick, naturally thick, long hair will understand the dewiness. Let's say the dewiness that you experience on the nape of your neck when your hair is down in this heat. I just can't do anything other than have it, oh, instant relief instant can't do anything other than have it off the back of my neck so yeah hair's gonna go straight up i'm gonna pot around this afternoon get some like housework bits done get some editing done whilst the joiner is in um just kind of like be here if he needs me otherwise <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog thumbs up if you have subscribe for more it would mean the world each and every one of you that subscribes honestly thank you from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah, I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.